welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about things that you should not do if you want your MCAT score to increase. I took this MCAT two times. So the first time I took the test, I got a 499 and the second time I got a 510. So I picked up a few tricks along the way. I'm a third year medical student right now too. So I'm going to be talking about some of the tips that I learned also in medical school so that you guys can do better on your MCAT exam. So the first thing you don't want to do when you're studying for the MCAT is think that if you do content review one time, you're done with content review. There is so much information on this test. You really have to take advantage of repetition. So if you went through the bio book one time, you're probably not done bio. You have to go through it multiple times. And the way that you decide to take advantage of this repetitive exposure is up to you. The way I did it was I outlined the first chapter of each book. So I would outline a chapter. The next day I would read that outline and then outline another chapter. The next day I would read the first outline, read the second outline, and then go to the third chapter. And then by the time I got to the 12th chapter, I had already read all the outlines so many times through. And it sounds time consuming, but once you read you know, your second outline for your 10th time, it really isn't that bad. Another thing that you can do, which I actually didn't use, but I use it all the time in medical school, is Anki. I didn't use Anki when I was studying for the MCAT, but it's the same concept. You want to see the material multiple times. If I can go back, I would probably use Anki. I use it all the time now. Every single morning, just wake up and get your reviews done because you want multiple exposures to the content. Also, another super helpful tip is to read the information right before you go to bed. The last thing you read, make it that content and you won't forget it. The second mistake a lot of people do when they're reviewing their exam or reviewing their practice tests is that they go over the wrongs and they think that they're done and this is where you can really make sure that you learn the concepts right you want to have an organized book where you keep track of all your wrong information so when you're going through a practice test for example you want to make sure that that's all in one book um, so that you can reference back to it very easily and you can go through the concepts that you got wrong whenever you need to. The next thing you don't want to do is focus too much on your strengths. It feels really good to do questions that you know you're going to get right because it's going to bring up your confidence, but you really want to target your weaknesses so you can bring your weaknesses to the same point of your strengths. And there's no way to do that, but really just honing in on what uh, you're not good at. And it can be hard to do that, but make sure that you make a conscious effort to find your weaknesses and really target them. The next thing you do not want to do is fall through the trap that you only have to study high yield information. That is not true at all. When you're going through the MCAT, really anything is fair game. So don't just read the Kaplan quick notes and think that that's going to be enough. You want to target everything high and low yield because it's all fair game. The next tip I have for you guys is to not fall into the trap of thinking that your test is going to be like your friends or somebody else that you read on Reddit or Facebook. Every test is different and just because your friend didn't have any orgo questions does not mean that you're not going to have a lot of orgo questions on your test. So really again this is like the point I just made. Everything is fair game. The next thing you should avoid and this is something that I was guilty of is you do not want to fall into the trap that just because you're studying more hours, you're learning more information. Really, really focus on maximizing the quality of your studying time. That way you're actually studying less and then you actually have time to do things that you enjoy, um, even when you're studying for MCAT. And the last tip I have for you is to not be afraid to ask for help. Go on Facebook, go on Reddit, even, don't be shy. Like, even if you don't know these people, there are people out there looking for study buddies. Look for someone who has the strength that you don't have. So if you find someone who's really good at Gen Chem and you're really good at bio, you guys can work together and then teach each other. And that way it can help you stay motivated. And those are all the tips I have for you in this video. This is a short one, but I just wanted to throw out some of the things that either I noticed a lot of people doing or things that I've done and I'm guilty of. So make sure to like this video, drop me a comment down below and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'll see you guys in the next video.